metal wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code, pink code, Signs can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Signs can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code. I feel bad. I feel like I don't have any talents. Uh huh. I'm just so uninspired. Mm hmm. Hmm. We fly here, we fly there, and no matter where we go, same old stars. Oh. Day, night. Day, night. Day, boring and dull. In general, my life is fine. My experiments are going well. Fascinating results and all. But nevertheless, something's off. I kind of feel like, like all the walls are pressing in on me. Hmm. Stars all around us, but I long for a mud pit to wallow in. Nice and runny. I'd love it. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, it's pretty clear what's going on here. Everyone seems to be showing symptoms of common space depression. Depression? How depressing! It's not fatal. You'll be fine. There are a number of cures. First, you should take a nice warm bath. Then take some time off. Time off? Yeah, a break. I'm the party penguin! Get it all! Uh, what's going on? Huh? What's it look like? A warm bath, party, a little time off, like you said. Well, that certainly is a giant bath. Hang on, what's this? Tell me you didn't use our entire soap supply for this. Yeah, yeah, shampoo too. Best bubbles ever. <laughs> you said a nice warm bath and time off would help us with our depression. Wonderful therapy, by the way. <laughs> I already feel a hundred times better. Your treatment really hit the spot. Thrilled to hear that. But our well-being would be even more endangered if for some reason we lost our soap supply. Cleanliness isn't nearly as important as feeling positive and happy again. <laughs> My dear obsessively clean friend. Not nearly as important? <laughs> All our species would have died out if it weren't for a little thing called soap. Died of depression? <sighs> yeah, that too. The origins of washing with a substance come from prehistoric times. The first substance used wasn't actually soap, but clay. But isn't he dirtier now than when he started? Not at all. The clay was actually as good as modern soap for cleaning. But even with the invention of soap, our ancient ancestors were not aware of the value of keeping themselves clean. And in the big cities of the Middle Ages, people's life expectancy was often shortened by disease. You see, infections spread quickly in densely populated areas, like cities. And it wasn't until the late 18th and early 19th centuries that there was a revolution in our understanding of the importance of keeping clean. And due to that change in behavior throughout society, life expectancy grew 30 years over time. 
All right, I've got it now. To stay healthy is to stay clean. But up here in outer space, there aren't <laughs> microbes or bacteria. Soap doesn't matter here. Up here we can wash up <laughs> with only water, right? But it did wash away our depression. So don't shame, beautiful bath bubbles. I just feel so uncomfortable. In my own skin, it it is bad. Don't turn the light on nine. I'm under the weather. I can barely get around. My feet keep sticking to the floor. Everything's all right in general. My experiments are fine. Interesting results and all. But I feel like something is creeping up on me. Oh. Dirty and clean. Dirty and clean. Mud bath. Mud bath. My kingdom for a mud bath. Ah, <clears throat> oh, pellets. Now do you understand how important soap is to our state of well-being? I still don't understand what the big deal is about soap. Why can't we get clean by using just water? Hmm. Interesting question. Have you ever noticed that hands really are harder to wash without soap? How come? Because grease cannot be dissolved by water alone. The reason for this is that water molecules have an electrostatic charge and oil molecules do not. Water molecules are shaped in a way that makes them hook tightly together, creating surface tension. And without something extra to hook the water molecules to the grease molecules, the grease escapes the water every time. Soap molecules are the bridge between water and grease. One end of a soap molecule has a negative charge and can interact with water molecules. The other end is nonpolar. That means it has no charge at all and that the end can attach to grease molecules. In addition, the nonpolar ends of soap molecules attach themselves to the nonpolar grease molecules and the soap molecules end up gathering into a sphere around the grease molecules. Those spheres are called micelles. Whenever we wash anything in soap and water, millions of micelles appear. And by agitation, the micelles tear the dirt and grease away from whatever is being washed. And in the process, micelles remove dangerous germs. Clear water then rinses away the dirt containing micelles and we are clean again. So we'll just stay dirty until we find some soap molecules? There must be an alternative to soap. We don't need an alternative. It has to be possible to locate some soap molecules in another place. Yes, dear friend, that's right. Good thinking there. In fact, those molecules could be found anywhere. You know what? They could be found in us. What? Really? For instance, similar molecules help us breathe. Amazingly, there are cells in our lungs that function like soap molecules. When we inhale, the air flows down the trachea through numerous small tubes called bronchi and finally fills hundreds of little sacs called alveoli. From the alveoli, oxygen gets into our blood vessels and is carried throughout the body. Now, on the inner side of the alveolus, there is a thin film of liquid, and when we breathe, this liquid has to expand and contract easily. If this film consisted of just water molecules, it would be very difficult to stretch, because every water molecule is positive on one side and negative on the other. They are firmly attached to each other. Fortunately, there are special molecules in our lungs that interact with the water molecules like soap does. Those molecules get between the water molecule and reduce their mutual attraction, and that makes it possible for us to breathe easily. Right then, there are some soap molecules inside us. Who are we going to get? <clears throat> Our soap from? Eeny, meeny, miny, sheep. 
No, no, no. We won't be cutting anyone up and harvesting soap from them. I just remembered a secret recipe I learned from my grandmother. My lousy memory. Can't believe I just thought of it now. Hmm. Now, this will help us get nice and clean. Hold up. Come on. That'll make us more disgusting than we already are. My great-grandmother was never wrong about anything. An egg yolk, Granny would say, works when you don't have soap. Great Granny's right. Yes, I should have thought of this earlier. Egg yolks contain a substance called lecithin. Here's another use for eggs. The lecithin molecule in egg yolks has a charge on one side and is nonpolar, has no charge on the other. This allows a lecithin molecule to attach itself to a water molecule with a charged side and a grease molecule with the nonpolar side. Sound familiar? That's right. Lecithin molecules are similar to soap molecules, and that means you can wash your hair with a fresh egg yolk. Mine oh, is so good to be forever. Clean. You think oh, are better now? Oh, yes, what they say is true. There's nothing like being clean in the morning and at night and in the afternoon. <laughs> Your attention, please. Hmm. Uh, I would like to share my new poem. It's pretty short, but it's good. To be clean is to be not foul. It is more important than you think. And thanks to one special owl, all of us no longer stink. Good, right? It'd be better if I was in it. Bravo, bravo! So very talented, don't you agree? I've heard moderately oh, worse. Quite Not half bad, right? right? Mm. Let's all do a toast in honor of our precious savior. Yay for Olga! Where is our guest of honor? Oh, Siggy. I am depressed. Everyone else is happy because I help them fix their problems. But what about my problems? Maybe I should try knitting. Sigmund? Are you even listening to me? 